I was doing a lecture on the on the stories in Genesis and one of the stories that I analyzed briefly and this will be posted very soon is the story of the Tower of Babel and I've been very curious about that story it, it comes after Noah's flood myth in Genesis and it's a very interesting story in what happens is that human beings get together and they decide to build a, a massive building and the human beings that are building the, that building all speak in one voice and they have this grand vision which you might regard as a utopian vision which is what I think it is that they can build a building so high that within it everyone will speak the same language and it will reach all the way to heaven and so you could see it in some sense as an attempt to usurp the transcendent um, I kind of read it as an, e an early precursor of the story that Milton told in Paradise Lost where Satan who's God's highest heavenly angel and perhaps and who's Lucifer the the, 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 the brightest light in the psychic hierarchy you might say and, and the spirit of untrammeled rationality decides that he can wage war in heaven and overcome God overcome the ultimate in the transcendent value and I read that as a cautionary tale about the pride that goes along with intellectual presupposition and the same pride that produced the totalitarian states of the 20th century what happens with the Tower of Babel is that human beings start to build this uh, unitary homogeneous structure whose pinnacle will reach into God's heavenly domain perhaps thereby taking the place of the transcendent God gets wind of that and goes to earth and takes the people or, or transforms the people who are who are building the building and who in principle it would house into a polyglot of people speaking different languages and then scatters them all over the world well what I think that means is that if you try to build a homogeneous totalitarian structure that usurps the transcendent it will begin to badly fragment from within and I think it's a warning against gigantism and I think one of the things that's happening in Europe is that we're seeing the folly of the idea of too big to fail what we're seeing instead is the manifestation of so big it will certainly fail